Okay, Myra, the best part about the chocolate chip cookies. The chocolate chips, right? Right? Mary, you got a sweater? Yeah. Were you cold? It's cold, yeah. You know, it's spring. It's almost oh. spring, and yes. we're gonna change time here soon, too. Here. Okay, also, go to momstown.com and be sure to sign up for our newsletter. We're also looking for new mayors, so if you'd like to join our Momstown Mayor Network, you can be the Momstown Mayor Very in your exciting. town. Yes, and Myra's yes. joining us, and we're talking about stress and overwhelm and... Right. Well, and also, if you do go to our website and sign up for a newsletter, you'll get 21 days of organizing tips, little teeny tiny tips that'll help you be more organized so you can find that hour of time for yourself during the day. Yeah, that's, you know, just when we were, amazing. when we just took a quick break, you went and grabbed your sweater. I was yes. just reading all of these things, and you've talked about this, Myra. All the things that stress does to your body: headaches, muscle tension, chest pain, oh. fatigue, change in sex drive. Um, I'm go, waiting. Go, go keep well, reading so because here's the thing: it does. Somebody at home might be feeling some of this. Okay, so oh, right, you said stomach upset, sleep problems. Um, my girlfriend has like severe stomach problems because yeah. of stress. Uh, anxiety, restlessness, lack of motivation or focus, irritability or anger, sadness or depression, mm -hmm. overeating or undereating, angry outbursts, drug or alcohol abuse, tobacco use, social withdrawal. Um, all also, of this, I'm sorry to interrupt no, you, but okay. all of this affects us as in business. So Absolutely. if we're trying to not only run a household and be a mom, but if we're trying to run a business, I would imagine that our clients, our customers, or it's having a negative impact on our bottom line. Absolutely. Well, and also, this is something we talk about a lot. We're emotional entrepreneurs, women. We can feel good about our life and bad about our life about 10 times a day. Mm -hmm. And it can be, you know, all excited to get started, you know, with the day. I want to get my child off to school. I want to do this. I want to accomplish that. And then we go to put our jeans on and they're a little snug. And so we start, there we go, right down. And then we, we're, I don't know how guys do it. I mean, they think they look great all the time. No, but, but, <laughs> but it really affects the bottom line. Don't you think yeah. in business? Yeah. I mean, how, what kind of negative impact does it have not only on our health, but also on our pocketbooks? When right. we're stressed and overwhelmed, and we talked about this already, we're not able to stay present. And part of how we build businesses that are lasting and sustainable is we create relationships. Right. And if we're not present in those relationships, if you guys are someplace else because you're worried about time and you've got to go pick up your kids or whatever it is, you are not going to make lasting connections and people aren't going to want to come back and pay you for your service or your product That's or whatever it is. That's a really good point. That is a, an excellent point. Thank you. Because, I mean, if we're it in really our is. head, if we're, so here's a, an exercise for you. Just see if you are even in your room, where you're watching the show right now. Are you aware? Because when you take the time to breathe, and she would also say, just look around the room and acclimate. See what you notice in your own home, in the room that you're in. And it's amazing how you kind of slowly drop back into your body. Totally. And once you but, feel that, you have to keep trying to feel that because when your kid comes in the door, are you in the room yeah. with well, that child? And I just think what you're talking about, Myra, on the relationships and long-lasting relationships, that is the key to success in any business. Whether right. you're in sales or service or whatever, it really does boil down to long-lasting relationships and how you're able to maintain those because relationships are the key to business. Yeah. I think it's just perfect what you're talking about here today. Yeah. You know, there's this, I was contemplating this last night when I was <clears throat> thinking about coming here. Um, you know, there's that old ex existential question, what's the meaning of life? And my answer as of late that I've really come to is connections. If you don't have connections, if you don't have meaningful, sustaining, nourishing connections, you're not mm -hmm. going to be able to be successful not only in business, but also in your personal life. Right. Right. So everything that we're doing I mean, everything that we do in order to take care of our stress, and I talked about this earlier, is an act of service. It's about providing service to the world because we all have gifts and talents. And if we constrict by overextending ourselves or not taking care of ourselves in very deep ways, in, in not just physical ways, but mental, spiritual, and emotional ways, then we take our gifts away from the world. And Lord knows hmm. that the world needs everything that we have to offer, especially when it comes to self. I mean, right. all the things that you guys are doing at Momstown, it's fantastic stuff. And if you guys are, if you guys are spread way too thin, how are you gonna do what you're doing? And take care of your families. And, oh, that's, and that's here, it. And here's that's the thing it. too, and, yeah. and so we realize that that's why part of our business is to 
grow a network of women and it's all going to be about relationships right. and having relationships and then those women having relationships and so it's really the our mom's town network is built on relationships and we talk about overwhelm and stress but moms are the best at creating relationships yes, women we are. we are phenomenal relationship We're builders phenomenal. Yeah. yeah don't you think Absolutely. yeah and I, I like to talk, always focus on what moms are really good at and what yeah. women are really good at, and relationships is one of them. What are some of the other things that, that mom sitting at home is just really good at inherently? I think that not only are moms good at creating relationships, but we're also really good and sometimes too good at multitasking, which is sort of just to sort of go back to you know, the issues and how you deal with it. If you can even just do one thing at a time, so if you're going to make a phone call, you're just making your phone call and right. not reading the email. Or if you're baking cookies, this isn't the best this example. Isn't the best but we're just making cookies. Just thinking, though, I'm, like, I'm making cookies and doing an interview. Yes, exactly. Not the best example, but necessary. But yeah. this is just fun. This isn't. Yeah. This doesn't take a lot of thought. Yeah, yeah. But moms are also really good at um, taking care of others and. I think the one thing that we always need to do is know how to give back to ourselves. You guys are so good at taking care of your business and your kids and, you know, your guests and all of these things. And do you actually spend time intentionally giving back to yourself, like, you know, scheduling that hour away from everything where you get to do or just be? Well, you know why? I don't. Okay, so no, here's the reason, and I bet you're having the same thought, an hour a day? Are you kidding me? That's too selfish. I feel I... guilty. I should be doing something else. I should be doing I this should. or that. I should. We, I should we, ourselves to death. Yes. I should. Yeah. Women are always thinking of the things they should be doing. Right. Well, and that, that guilt, how do you alleviate the, we only have a couple, another minute or so, but how do we alleviate the guilt of feeling like we're being selfish and self-absorbed by taking an hour? How well, can we reframe that for Right, and you us? know, I was talking earlier, and I say this all the time because I have to remind myself of it, if you don't take that hour, then what you're really doing is you're taking away your gifts, your spirit from the world. And so you have to really look at it from a very large picture of like, okay, is this going to recharge, revitalize, you know, re-empower me so that I can go do what I want to do so that the guilt doesn't have to be the thing because the guilt is just your mind talking smack, if yeah. that makes sense. Nice. <laughs> nice. nice. Your mind's just talking smack at you mm -hmm. so that you can just work yourself to death. Okay, so we are out of time, but tell me quickly, Heather, I'm going to put in the oven. in the oven real quick. Where can we find you? I am at MyraHoltzman.com. Um, it's M-A-I-R-A-H-O-L-Z-M-A-N-N.com. Nice. Um, and we'll put it on the website. Yeah, that would be great. Thank you for coming. Thank you so much. Wonderful having you yeah, here. Yeah, it's great to meet yeah. you. Good. Good topic. Yeah. Terrific.